Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today I want to talk to you about ideal body weight. Uh, one of the more common questions I get in the office is, how much should I weigh? And it's actually a fairly complicated question, but there's actually a very simple answer. And the answer is, very plainly, the less you weigh, the longer you will live. There's something called body mass index, or BMI. It's a ratio of height to weight that we use to decide who's overweight or underweight. And I've attached a link below that you can look and check and see what your BMI is. And an ideal body weight BMI should be between about 18 and a half and 25. As an example, for 5 foot 10 my height, I am overweight at 175 pounds. I'm actually not underweight until I'm 132 pounds. It sounds kind of unrealistic to have those type of numbers, and most people are going to be overweight by BMI, but BMI actually is a reflection of who lives the longest. It's not who looks best in a bathing suit, it's not who can bench press the most, it is who lives the longest, and statistically, the less you weigh, the longer you'll live. The actuaries have been writing insurance policies since way before we've had blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, or any of that other information, and they've done a very successful job, and the main criteria they used was how much did you weigh as a indicator of how long you would live and whether you were a good insurance risk or not. So the less you weigh, the longer you will live. I've said it a couple of times, but that's the take-home message today. They actually did an interesting study. They took genetically identical rats, clones, so every rat was exactly the same, and split them into three groups. The first group of rats, they fed all the rat food they wanted to eat, and they were fat rats. They were happy and fat. The second group of rats, they gave them a normal rat diet. They looked like normal rats, and everything about them was a normal rat. The third group, very interestingly, they underfed them. They calorie-deprived them, and they looked skin and bones. They didn't look very healthy. At the end of the study, they figured out the fat rat died first. That was pretty obvious. But what the interesting surprise was that the skinny rat, the skin and bone rat, the underfed rat, lived longer than the normal healthy rat. Going back to the phrase, the less you weigh, the longer you'll live. So there's very good information that weighing less is a predictor of how long you'll live. If you want to think about it on human terms, think of the term little old lady and little old man. If you picture a 100-year-old man in your head, he weighs 135 pounds. He's six foot tall, he's skin and bones, he's 100 years old, he's still alive. It's very hard to mentally picture a 200-pound, 100-year-old man. There just aren't that many of them. A 100-year-old lady probably weighs 90 or 95 pounds. Again, the less you weigh, the longer you'll live. So when you look at your BMI and you're overweight, um, don't be depressed, but that's a predictor of who's going to live the longest. It does not take into account body fat, it does not take into account muscle mass, but for probably 90 or 95 percent of the population, it's going to be an accurate predictor of how you're doing health-wise. Uh, if you're Michael Jordan, you're overweight by BMI, but obviously he's lean and fit and muscular, but he is absolutely the exception to the rule. So go ahead and look up your BMI for me and see where you're at, and we're going to go for a goal of a BMI of less than 25. One theory, my theory is why calorie deprivation, and if you want to look at uh, calorie deprivation and longevity on the web, you'll find a bunch of information, but a thought is, is that your body makes new cells every day. So every day I make new skin cells, I make new colon cells, I make new everything cells, and when I eat less calories, my body thinks that there's not enough energy available, so it maybe makes a new cell every other day instead of every day. So if I turn over my cells a little bit more slowly um, to save energy, there's less chance that I'm going to burn out my machinery, there's less chance I'm going to make a mistake, so when I make my next colon cell, um, I make a cancer cell. If I turning over those cells half as often, um, there's less chance that I make a mistake, and if I have a certain number of colon cells I can make before I'm out of cells, then if I'm making them less often, uh, I may live a little bit longer. That's my personal thought. Uh, the science does bear out, though, that the number of calories you take in every day is an indicator of how long you're going to live. Dr. Costello, thank you. Have a good day.